Hello friends, this is Zots, confirmed by Laboratory Testing, and today I wanted to share with you two very interesting Nemesis discoveries. The first one has to do with his hitboxes. Some time ago, in that old video over there, I actually went out and asked one of the developers to explain the hitboxes, and I hired one of my friends to make a 3D animation to try to visualize it. And it looks a bit like this, it's like a bunch of KitKats that extend forward infinitely quickly, and if they meet an obstacle, they stop. That's why sometimes a survivor that hides behind a little window or obstacle cannot be hit by them. But a very, a very dedicated Nemesis player did a lot of testing and figured out something that I had no idea. And that is the fact that these KitKats don't all come out at the same time. They actually go from top to bottom. It's like a little piano that gets played to, 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 from the top to the bottom. Now, this has one immediate downside, and it's the fact that if you drag your head over some obstacle, by the time you drag it, your hit, your tentacle hitting is out of the, not getting past the obstacle, it's hitting too low. But the reverse is also true. You can actually hit below obstacles at the end of your swing, which means that you can actually drag to hit survivors on their feet on little structures like the one you're seeing on screen. And what does this look like in an actual game? Let me show you. Oh, that little gap, I can hit him through that. There! There you go! Now, that alone is pretty funny, but there's one more thing that I learned from this dedicated Nemi player. His name is Deva. I'm gonna link his Twitch in the description. And that is his very unique approach to the early game. He runs the perk Corrupt Intervention, which blocks the three further shans for two minutes. And during those two minutes, he tries not to down anyone, only goes for infections and injuries to really, really set the ground for a successful middle game. Now, I thought this was a little bit too ambitious or something that would only work against weaker teams. But I have to say, after trying it out, it was actually fairly successful. In this video, you will see some of the builds that I tried on stream and off stream. And you're going to see that you can actually do this gimmick with a variety of add-ons and perks. You don't want to bring add-ons that uh, are sustainable and long-term. Avoid infection rate add-ons and add-ons that only give a burst of utility and avoid hex perks, as, uh, hex perks that can be cleansed. You want things that are sustainable, that can be done multiple times and that are very reliable. And this one in particular is my favorite. You'll see it at the end of the video. Please try this out yourself and enjoy the gameplay. All right, Blood Lodge. Oof. Uh, this map brings such memories it's it's kind of crazy to think that now this map is not the way it used to be and it's typically i would say a little bit easier for killer than it used to it's definitely not as rough it's not as long it doesn't it doesn't involve much of a nightmare for stealth killers anymore i need to listen to hit footsteps oh that was close that was a bit of a shame we would have had a hit there if i had been a bit smarter uh, we see someone blinded that zombie. I think chasing that girl right now would be a waste of time. We need to go for an easier hit on somebody else, if possible. This is going to be a difficult hit if she comes back. Well played by her. That's a hit. There we go. We see the zombie do a swivel, which means Nia is nearby. Uh, how nearby are we talking? Mm, Nearby-ish. We need to go. We need to go. We need to stop a gen. Oh, that's great, actually. Wow, that's crazy. I would drop that. I d would not respect that. There you go. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kick this gen to apply oppression. This will hit a skill check on other gens being done. And that might tell us where to go. No, no one missed it or no one's doing a gen. It also applies the first of the two kicks that you need to do for machine learning. And this will be the second. And what I'm gonna do is apply eruption here now as well. And machine learning is now on. So when this Leon does that gen, we'll get a bit of a speed boost. But we're not in a super big rush. Wow, really? Oh, I thought I might have to switch. We're out of the tier 2, so I'm not in a rush. I don't... It's still a bit of corrupt, so... I'm gonna respect that. And not try to go for the down. That's a hit, probably. There we go. Lovely. Hopefully someone takes over. Ooh, what do I want to do? Well, it's hard to say. Ouch. Let's not break this. Let's not break this pallet. Let's break it when we chase them into the corner. Unless they have any means and they pick it up, we'll be fine. 
This is pretty good. We're gonna hit those two gents with eruption. Now it would be lovely if we have the one on the right get done first. That would have been nice if we hit that. Ooh, well played by him though. He's doing this really solid. Oh, uh, come on, 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 come on. Don't find a filler pallet. Don't find a filler pallet. If I. F uh... Nice. I can't really see which one of the two had the screaming claw that. I'm gonna guess it was Shaq. It's only 10% from eruption, but that's nice. Oh, yeah. I see her aura. There you go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We kick that and then let it be. And we try to apply machine learning to that gen so that when it gets, it gets done, we get the stealth and the speed boost. Which I've never really used on Nemi before. Yeah, this is good. A bit sus that no one's here. Oh, I see what's going on. Someone missed the skill check from oppression. And that zombie is there, like, blind. That's nice. That's a minus 10%. So it's like a little eruption as well. Uh, it wasn't enough to stop it, but fair enough. This girl used her medkit to heal, presumably, at some point. She's very keen on not... Hmm. I'm sorry, that's a hit. She's very keen on not uh, dropping pallets. She, she does that very well. Don't mind the thunderstorm in the background, by the way. You might be able to hear that. That's a hit for sure. I think she'll dodge. There you go. It looks really stupid. I hear someone coughing. He's too far. Alright, I reckon a gen should be done about now by Claudette and we'll get our stealth. That's perfect if it happens exactly like that. Yep. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna approach from a very unusual angle, see if Claudette and Leon heal each other and the stealth really gets them. That's exactly what's going on. Oh, but they finished the heal! How fast are they? There we go, do a bit of a swig, uh, a zigzag. Okay, you waited here, did you? Oh, the stealth was nice. Even then, this wasn't all that good. Damn. This kill is so fast. Imagine, that would have been sweet. What? Honestly, I don't even know what to say. This kill is just faster than me. We have two zombies and three people around here. Mm, I think it's time to go pick up. Leon, it's becoming more common for people to run Unbreakable because it has good synergy with Mate for this, which is also a common perk. One thing I've noticed is that people will 99 their Unbreakable, get picked up by an injured teammate, and then, you know, the injured teammate can tank an extra hit for mate with Mate for this. So I'm now a bit more averse to slugging than before, and I have I found that doing what I just did, leaving a survivor there for a second just for a quick hit, often backfires. So watch out. You need to drop this, I'm afraid. Would have been funny if we just held her there forever. <laughs> oh, she cannot loop this. There's two zombies. <laughs> How crazy is that? I think we get her here. And that's a tier three and an eruption hit. Nice job. So how many hooks do we have? This is going to be our fourth. Do we have one hook on every person? Does that seem right? Or was it two on Leon? Mm -hmm. I think it's still on Leon. Don't think we ever downclaw that. Ooh. But that might change just now. Uh, actually, I think I infect her and I leave her. Notice that these survivors are really not too crazy about cleansing the infection, huh? No possible chance to dodge there. I think I leave. Oh, there we go. First, uh, first victim. Okay, I think at this point, if I come and chase you, you're not going to be too mad at me. Not that it matters if someone's mad at you, but... I think it's fair. I had to try. Let's wait right here, see if he commits a little bit, or if he's so good. Nice, good job. If he somehow got the fastball there, I think he might have caught me off guard. Right now, I'm really not in a rush to infect this guy. I'd rather just M1 him. He's, I don't need to worry. About, I'm pretty sure he's dead. So I don't need to worry about him wasting time with vaccines. Oh, does he make that? That would have been a really good that hard. I'm going to pick up right away. I don't think she makes it. Sadly. I just step backwards. First priority is to get out of the way. If I get a hit, wonderful. That girl just used another vaccine. So that's two out of four. 
And I was right. Leon, Leon was the guy we hooked. All right, now we're going to play with the gems very defensively using Eruption. And if we could get a Oppression to maybe keep an eye on gems that are far, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah, there are two gems, but they really don't have much done on the remaining ones, I think. Like, looks like they hit over there when they pop this, and now they're going for that gen. Let's go and defend it. Oppression, by the way, is a perk that I always used to think was just irredeemably bad. But... I've sometimes changed my... Ugh, what? My little nail! I didn't trim it, so I hit her. That was crazy. I thought I was gonna miss for sure. Yeah, Oppression, I used to think it was an irredeemably bad perk due to its very long cooldown. But the thing is, if you play a killer like Skull Merchant, who's very good at making games take forever, the 80 second cooldown, when you're already applying Eruption and other stuff, it's not that big of a deal. Now, I don't think Nemesis, even with a stall build, is quite as good as Skull Merchant and at lengthening the games. But, to, you know, I guess it's the same principle, so... Don't, don't use oppression on a killer where the first gens are gonna go by super quick, aka Trapper. And don't use it on a killer that's super fast-paced and survivors don't have side objectives, aka... I don't know. Oh. Wow, I'm so sorry. My... The earth is trembling. Uh, I wanted to maybe wait until the thunders were done for the day before starting to record, but... It just keeps going, so if you hear a little something in the background. All right, not gonna lie, speed add-on? Kind of useful. I think zombies have been, for the most part, pretty on top of things. And we've even seen two zombies, like, harass people. Yeah, these add-ons are so hard to quantify, but they've been doing their job, all right? <laughs> all right. Uh, that's a heal animation. That's not a gen animation. It's hard to see Claudette <laughs> if it wasn't for the zombie in the background. <gasps> Ooh, that was so close. If only the speed was a bit higher. Nice. Okay, I didn't see that at all, but I had to believe. I was out of the angling, my, like, uh, turning myself. If she had crouched or done something there, that would have been really bad for me. Okay. Uh, we're tier three, right? Yeah, you don't make that, I think. Ow. We oppress this, I guess. And it would be really nice to know that if in the end game I have to sacrifice a, the final gen to down someone and kill someone, I would have like the 10 movement speed of machine learning. Mm. I guess it helps. I mean, yeah, zombies kind of help you slow on the gens a little bit. Oh, I see that, Claudette. So it's always something you can use to... To make sure that the gen that you want to pop is the one that pops. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't even sure that was gonna hit through that, but... Alright, can I do... Ooh, actually, that little gap there, I think, is hittable. Yeah! It, we understand the hitbox. Same thing? Well, yeah, but she's not walking through it. Oh, that breaks my heart. That breaks my heart. Oh, yeah. Like, if you play the the event pallets against a killer that can just respect pallets, that's rough. Uh, for those of you that might be watching this in the future and you don't know what that is, those little pallets that they create are just an event thing. And they're like fragile pallets. If they hit you with it, they stun you. But after the pallet is dropped, it just, pew, it just eviscerate. You know, it just... Can you even say eviscerate if something doesn't have viscera? I've I've been told maybe that's not correct. It just evaporates. Uh, maybe is a better word. Hello. Haha. <laughs> right in the nick of time again. I think I'll chase Nia. She's more killable right now. Ooh, do I make it with tier three? I don't think so. But oh, damn, dude. Long, long arm Nemi. By the way, if a survivor has a decisive strike, and you drop them on top of a zombie like that. That's a really good way of outplaying the size of strike. It's a little tech you can use, I suppose. But then, uh, hear me out. There was a time when I played against a group of survivors that was so smart that when I dropped the survivor, I couldn't reach a hook, right? So I dropped the survivor next to a zombie. But what another survivor did was bait the, like they were in a team and they, they had excellent teamwork. So another survivor ran into the zombie, made it with 
And then the other survivor like got off my shoulders and didn't get hit right away. So if survivors are super mega smart, they could improvise and do that. I've only seen that happen once and it was against a very, very good group of survivors. That might be perhaps a good example of like how really strong survivors make early game nemesis impossible. So if you want to see a really tough nemesis match, you got you got that one. Oh, perfect. Well done, dude. Uh, GG's. Chill, people. Honestly, uh, kind of fun. Kind of fun. I don't know if this would resist other maps that are a little bit bigger. But if you want something that's a bit more reliable for that, try out the other builds that I'm going to feature in this video. I'm going to go show you uh, two other matches that I thought were really fun. On, on an indoor map one and an, on a large outdoor map the other. And you'll see how this playstyle uh, fares in those scenarios. Fun games. Uh, please enjoy them. All right, chat. We're trying this playstyle again. <laughs> we're going to spend the first two minutes just trying to look for survivors and infect them. No injuring, no downing, no nothing. Unless they give me a super free easy down. And yeah, that's the idea. Just, just see if we can infect them. Last match, we went to Garden of Joy. And it took me five minutes to down someone. So that wasn't great. Oof. But maybe now we're doing a bit better. You're not hiding there. You're kidding. What is happening? Oh, no. I might have made a mistake. I might have read those scratch marks backwards or something. Oh, this is bad for them, though. Hold up. Let's get this person that's not too corralled. And now go for this person who is corralled. Um, wait. How about we... We didn't let them get out. Wait, hold up. That wasn't too bad after all. There you go. I see a zombie uh, going towards this gen. See how it does a little U-turn? That means someone's running around it. Perfect. I can't believe they gave me that for free. It's only been a minute and we got three people. I need to do this or else I can't go through. That's fine though. Hello, this person's coughing. We don't care about them. You're the guy I care about. Wonderful. I'm out of the tier three almost. One more zombie, one more hit or something. All right, well, that worked out pretty excellently. That was a bit close. Do we make that? I think we will. It's funny how falling on something that's shaped a certain way helps you out. Yikes. All right, well, night and day with before, huh? I guess this map is different because they can't... I mean, to be fair, if it's West Wing, they can run you around the top floor. And if it's this one, they can run you around that part, but they didn't get to it, so... Yeah, the, the places where we corner them, luckily, they couldn't run around easily. Zombie doing a bit of sandwiching. Lovely. Can we get past them? Ooh, damn, speed is good. To block me, but not them. Haha, <laughs> that's fine. Life, probably? Nice. Okay, well, I think the previous match was a good warm-up. I'm tier 3, I can get this. Nice. Well, this didn't even feel like... It didn't even feel like that much of a side quest. We actually got a lot of stuff done. Remember, they have three vaccines with this add-on. And they haven't used one yet. Which is kind of funny. Let's kick and see what's going on. We would have kicked that one in the corridor with a little alley too, but it seems a bit difficult. That gen has a bit of progress as well. And this perk has no... No, it's a zero. Never mind. Let's go around then. That zombie there is taking care of <laughs> the front. And we're going to see Talita here. Maybe finishing this gen? Maybe. I mean, see, this is the part where if they did this at the start... I would have been kind of screwed, because what the hell do I do here? If they run around this, just catch up, catch up, catch up. Oh, yo, 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 Hold up. We got a plan, we got a plan. We see someone. Going upstairs. All right, here we go. It's Ashley. Very interesting path. Wait, it's not Ashley. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we could leave him. That looks weird. Chat, I'm going to share with you something that a viewer discovered that blew my mind. Oh, oh my god. Fair enough. Sorry, I want the scent to stay a bit. 
Uh, you, you all know how Nemesis uh, attacks work, right? It's like a little Kit Kat. There's like a bunch of uh, vertical bars stacked on top of each other. How many are there? We don't really know. The exact shape, we don't really know, but that's how it works. And that's been confirmed by a developer, right? They, like, Almo actually told me about that when I asked, so that was really nice of him. But I always thought that the Kit Kats all moved forward at the same time. So it was like four fingers that all extend, you know, at the same time. That's not how it is, it turns out. Life? Ooh. Nice zombie. Um, the Kit Kats at the top go first. And then the Kit Kats at the bottom take a little bit longer. So instead of extending your fingers like this at the same time, it's more like this. So that means that if your hit is really late and they crouch, you don't get them. That's why crouching works. I mean, there's also other reasons, right? There's a map where the windows are a little bit too tall and that's, you know, Grim Pantry mostly. <laughs> Most other maps, if they crouch past the window, you can still hit them. But not if you take too long. Because then the kid gets at the top. Are out of the, you know, are out of the over. But that also means that you can hit survivors through low gaps. Gaps that are closer to your knees. Through at the end of your swing. So, how can we exp How can I show you that? Let me try. Like, you see that pallet? You see how there's a little gap underneath it? I might be able to... Maybe that one's a bit too low, but you might be able to hit people through low gaps like that at the end of your swing. I've seen someone in Barham hit someone through some low cinder blocks um, at the end of their swing. It's really, really fascinating. So now, when you play Nemesis, if you want to visualize the way the way your attack works, think of it like a curtain that goes down and you'll probably do better. This map is so much about I'm playing on this. Nice, that was a great play. I'm probably light, so, oh, never mind. All right. Sorry, I'm gonna go back because I don't want to be running around the whole thing. Um. Oh, there you go, okay, you know what? Get that rescue, get that Jake. Oh, never mind. They just did the gem. Right now. That's acceptable too. Let's go for Tally till then. Multitasking. Mm -hmm. This part of the map is much nicer on the east wing because they just get. You know what? I have full trust that they're gonna drop. Didn't even need to see them. Alright. <laughs> they saw me running behind them. <laughs> Nemesis are creatures of habit, right? You just, you just, they just go after the unhook. They don't take alternative routes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, someone on the little corridor. It seems zombies pushing away. Let's go kick one of these shants, maybe. We have a street gen of sorts, kinda. Ooh, this is at like 1%. Let's go kick it. Maybe we find someone and we don't need to sit by the hook. I think we're gonna find no one. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Who's this zombie chasing? Who are you chasing, homie? Huh. These dreams. Alright. Could be someone with uh, stealth perks, or more likely it's someone with. They're doing a reset here. Uh, maybe it's just... Oh! Ah, sure. Do I catch him there, chat? Yo. If he had crouched, that would have not hit him. We're making Nemesis tentacle feel really strong right now, but... If you really think about it, like, think about how many times we hit them. What if a subclass of killers was created and semi M1 such as Trapper, my clan would get 1% per gen done? That would create a new silly meta where survivors would be punished for doing their objective. Which already happens on both sides a bit, don't tell me wrong, but how silly would it be? Oh, nice shot, they stopped. How silly would it be if you had survivors 1990 multiple gens to prevent killers from getting faster? Like, doesn't that seem backwards to you? 
Seems a bit backwards to me. Oh, that would have never worked. Remember that they go up to down, so... Couldn't work. Oh, hold up. That's so scratches. I thought for sure. Well, here's the beauty of this map. You don't need to do anything. Just go the other way. They'll run into you, probably. Okay. Let's go. I think you're dead, Talita. I'm sorry. You mean like off the record and DS for killing survivors? I mean, that is a way to encourage the killer to win the game through alternative hooks rather than repeated same person hooks i don't think that's the end of the world i think that's okay i think it's some of that i think is actually kind of i'm not gonna say necessary because you know maybe in an ideal world it's not but it is helpful and good the same way that survivors maybe sometimes get encouraged to do side objectives like opening chests and doing totems rather than just sit on gents and and you know <laughs> and and do nothing but so i don't think that's the end of the world but if you're gonna make a base kit change it needs to be one that's intuitive and it, it needs to be one that doesn't make the game that was so silly <laughs> that doesn't make the game like much worse right maybe she had off the record oh to be fair that was cool Could I try something? Mm, no. I guess I can't really show you, but you'll have to take my word for it. Maybe I'll find... Damn, it really doesn't give an F. Maybe I'll find some example. This would be like an example, right? Where the tentacle would hit like underneath the X. But yeah, uh, good to keep in mind, I guess. GG's. Good sports. All right, we're on Fracture Cowshed, which is a decently large map with a lot of safety. And normally I would be sweat, you know, I would be trembling in my boots right now. But we have a unique strategy. Let's see how much it helps. It would be nice to leave these breakable walls for later so we can use them with Thwack to suss out rats. But if I don't find someone right now, it's going to be a bit rough. Zombies spawn anywhere useful. I think they remain. Yeah, they hear my t Oh, yeah, there you are. Right, so we got a Jill in there. We might have to break a break of a wall. Oh, there's Michaela. Jesus, everyone's being... Oh, dude, I hate that everyone's... Okay, this... That's what I was gonna say. This, uh... This Nia is a bit nicer because she's running. So that makes me think, okay, she doesn't have... Oh, that was terrible for her. She took such a big path here. Hmm... Do I just down her? Nah. Nah, let's wait. She probably won't say coming. Let's let's not get the down. Let's get the full corrupt value, even on this map. Hopefully she doesn't have any means and she doesn't pick that map, uh, that pallet back up. I want to get all my value here. But yeah, when you see a lot of people walking in the distance, it's a little bit scary because you know you're about to eat several yikes. Where, where were you, lady? You're about to eat several spring bursts. And just as I say that, look at that. All right, that's good. All right. So that's uh, nine seconds wasted from this cloud. That's nice. Or, t or two items are stalling a bit more. I'm going to do this and she'll run away. 100%. And now, no need to... I'm out of the tier two. No need to rush this. Now we're chasing two people and Deadlock's protecting a gen, which is nice. Um, you know, if I had been a bit sharper, that might have been a down there. But it's not too bad. We got Shack Pallet down. How bad is this window? Get her. That would have been sweet, right? Oh, shame. But we know she's exhausted because she used her sprint burst, so... Holy your lord. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Ah! So slow. Oh, my god. Oh, my god, chat. Oh, my god. I can't, I, I can't believe I just did that. That was a good play. That was a good play. Uh, I fat fingered my mouse, uh, my my finger on the E key. I don't know why. I guess I'm first game of the day or something, and it it tilted me sideways. 
Because I have Q and E to look sideways. Oh my lord. I'm so sorry. That was terrible. So she had life, I suppose. Oh, someone's going for this rescue. Okay. I'm not sure why they have so many people here, but okay. Uh, hopefully she doesn't hear me while I do this. She did hear me. Hold on. Now I'm going to get not the... Pff. Oh man, dude, I, oh man, I just, oh man, whoever, whoever thought it's a good idea to put Shaq in a corner of a good map, or of an already large map, dude. I don't know, I don't know what they were thinking. So many maps like this. Oh, dear Christ. Thwack value, yeah, that was good, it's just that they still had so much safety to go off. I'll fake this and she'll maybe, yeah, do this. Alright, that's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. Oh my lord, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just like, they, they just have so much map to run into. And if I try to mind game myself, that, that happened to me twice a bit. Like, I'm going into nothing. That's a second, that's a second back scene, not too bad. That's 18 seconds wasted so far, thanks to the add-ons. This is not really gonna buy her too much time, I think. Do you have off the record or something? No. You're making noise. Yeah, I think, I think that time was pretty critical, actually. Like, this girl would have probably had time to hide. Oh, that zombie did a sharp turn. Someone's there. That's probably Nia or Claudette. Probably Nia. Yeah, it's Nia. She's gonna be right here in three seconds. Wait, zombie? Hold up, they're running past me. Oh, it's Claudette. Uh, this doesn't, doesn't interrupt on hooks, by the way. She's not dodging, so I'm just gonna hit her with this. Work towards my tier three. I have, I have Thwack, so I can deal with this pretty well, I think. Oh, what? She gained a lot of distance there. The fuck? Excuse... Excuse me? Uh, did I... Just, I did... Uh, huh? That, that's not made for this. That's not made for... That was more than that. That was like a like a third of a sprint burst. I'm going to... I'm going to check that person's profile later. If they have uh, their, their perk loadout. That was super sussy, actually. That, that's not right. Overcome? Oh, maybe, chat. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Did that line up with Overcome? The thing is, I saw her around the corner, and then she made distance afterwards, so that was super weird. That was super weird. If it's made for this, I guess maybe I took bad bathing, and she was like, you know, she, she, oh, I don't know. She channeled hope for a second. That was super strange. She's made for that. If it's, if it's only made for this, I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be crazy, dude. Maybe, maybe I just, maybe I watch the footage again and I disagree with myself, but do you see the zombie doing a sharp turn? I mean, someone's there. Oh, that was a bad play, I think. Nice, he tried to dodge it a bit. Thwack is up. Did we let that gen go? Break it? We get auto reading. She knows I have it because she screams. She's not stupid, but she goes down regardless. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit shame. That's a bit of a shame. I might be another mate for this, for all I know. <laughs> Feels so bad they're trying to use the event. <laughs> and I can just respect the heck out of it as Nemi. Feels bad. Um, Alright, well, the, what, do we work of, what do we worry about? So strange. So you really were on this? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. What are the chances? Oh, we're going to kick this then. If they finish another now, I would cry. Uh, zombie. All right. Chasing someone on and off. They did all... They, they, we split gens in two and two. I don't think we're going to win this by gens. We're going to win this by tunneling someone out. Or having no way out help us. I'm going to do this to find someone. How close? Wow, really close. That's Michaela, I think. I, w I wish it lasted a bit longer, the thwack. I don't know about this. Uh, sure then. Mm. Okay, no one's doing anything for a bit. That was good. Yeah, that had to fall. I think she's gonna run away to main. Like, I've already mind game myself so many times. Never mind, now she stays. Damn, dude. Can't make sense of survivors sometimes. <laughs> was that a deception? No. That's so sad. Watch out. That could be a flashy save. Oof. Uh, no way out. Stacks four now? Is that what it is? I think so. Alright. So we have two people that don't hook. Notice that we have four hooks and six. 
We have four stacks of no way out and six hooks. That means each person wants. Wow, that's big range. Jesus. Helpful. Uh, each person wants on, on two people twice. So let's get Jill now, who we are sure is dead on hook and is the most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. uh, Stiptic right now would really hurt. But... All right, we get another Thwag. We break something else, find someone else. We need to remember who else is dead on hook though, real quick. Who would that be, Chad? It's not Neo. Uh, I don't think it's Claudette. I think it's Michaela. Yeah, I think it's Michaela. What should I go for the perks? Uh, I put a picture on my Discord that has tips on which killers to go for for perks. Oh, very nice. Nice! Double tap from me! Oh, this gen must have been so close to being done. Uh, flashy save, though. Watch out. Where? Where's the saver? Uh, does it matter? No, hooker. Does it matter? Yeah, it does. Yeah? I'm gonna drop her, dudes. Oh, my lord. Sorry, I wanted to call that to go down. God fucking damn it. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, we do have no way out, and I don't- I don't think they- I don't think they're gonna touch again immediately because they're so- Like, Nia's 100% gonna touch Claudette on the ground. Which is perfect, means I could kill her. Nice. Good auto read, maybe? Nice. She doesn't make it very far. Nice. So now, with no way out, we have big, big stall all around. Oh. <sighs> Wait, Nia hasn't touched Gates, but she hasn't touched Claudette either. What's going on? And zombie apparently telling me where they are. Okay, well, now go for the lowest hanging fruit, I guess. Follow the blood. This is the blood. This isn't the blood. Okay, follow her then. She doesn't make it safely here. Nice try, though. We don't have any more thwack. Oh, we do, we do, we do. We hooked someone just now. Uh, Claudette ha is, must be self-carrying or something. She's not touching gates or else no way out would trigger. We broke this already. Uh, don't get spawned. Don't do anything special. There you go. Oh, uh, Okay, Chad. Uh, this makes very little sense to me, but we know that if she touches gates, she's kind of screwed. So I'm going to hook here and I'm going to break one of the breakable walls in main. See if we suss her out. They don't have any offering for Hodge, so... They still haven't touched the gates for some crazy reason. There should still be one here. I'm gonna keep my... Actually, is there one anymore? Oof, I don't know. Zombie's telling me nothing. Well, I could just camp it out. I guess that would be the best. Uh, they're playing for Hodge. Right, so Nia uh, decided to let go. And Hatch will spawn, and no movement from Claudette, which makes me think she's in a locker. She's injured, she should make noise. Let's check basement. Oh, Hatch even better. Oh, that's a shame. I'm gonna sit here like a final boss. <laughs> if she walks and gets it, she has it. Otherwise, I think we kill her. <laughs> <laughs> this Nemesis skin doesn't even have eyes, so I look like a statue right now. <laughs> uh, if you want to get the hatch first, you must answer three questions. Oh, come on, let me give it to you. Bye bye. GG's. Everyone use cakes. These guys were pretty chill. Uh, I have a, I have a feeling, but okay, never mind. I thought they didn't bring any toolboxes or anything. I guess they did have syringes. Right, so they call that. Uh, it's a good thing though that she had made for this. It made it, it it made her really fast, which really threw me off. But then in the end game, she didn't have adrenaline, so that was a lot more like if they split it effectively, I think that would have been really hard. And if she got picked up from the ground, which I think is what happened, it would have been really hard. So look, you lost the game. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Uh, but GG's. Anyway, I really like this playstyle. It's, it's quite fun.